Hi, I'm Brandon, and today we're here at Carolina Beach State Park. Yeah, so in this ecosystem, it benefits from actual fire. So many of the plants are fire adapted. Prescribed fire eliminates the competition of woody shrubs and trees. With fire eliminating the competition, it allows Venus flytraps and wildflowers to absorb the sunlight and flourish on the forest floor. The frequent fires will actually reduce competition. So small trees and shrubs uh, with a fire moving across the landscape, it'll actually uh, impact those small trees and shrubs to um, make them shorter and keep them stunted so that the wildflowers and carnivorous plants can thrive and grow. Let me show you one of them. So wiregrass is a fire adapted species and burns very quickly in its environment. It's important that we burn it frequently to knock back the woody vegetation like shrubs and small trees and allow this wiregrass to benefit from frequent fire. The deep root system of the wiregrass allows the wiregrass to grow back after a fire and sprout and flower during that growing season. If it's burned during the growing season in May or June, uh, you'll have flowers on the wiregrass by that November. Not necessarily something you would do in your own neighborhood, but these plants existing in the wild benefit from frequent fire. Well, thanks for showing me around today. I had a lot of fun, learned a lot too. Me too. Well, um, I am wondering though, are there any cool plant adaptations I can find in my own neighborhood? Yeah, have you ever seen colorful flowers attracting bees and butterflies, been pricked by a thorn, or seen vines climbing up a tree, or even seen seeds blowing through the wind like mini parachutes? They can be found in your own neighborhood too. Cool. Seeds like this. <laughs>